Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell from this intro, we're gonna be talking about audiobooks that I recommend you listen to while working out. I have compiled a list of quite a few books here. Now that spring and summer is, you know, upon us or approaching, I find that more and more people are going to the gym, at least at my personal gym. Now that the weather is warming up, people are more motivated to work out because they wanna look good for the beach. They want to feel more energized for hiking and outdoor things and just getting more motivated to be active. But I also know that for a lot of people, it's not a very fun thing to do. It's like a, a huge chore to get themselves to the gym or to do an exercise to work out, to go on their walks, which is why I'm making this video. I find that listening to music over and over again can get super repetitive, boring, and I just personally am not into listening to the same mainstream music anymore. Music nowadays just isn't what it used to be. And I find myself gravitating towards listening to either a podcast, watching, a, listening to a YouTube video, or listening to an audiobook. So if this resonates with any of you, then I feel like this is the perfect video for you. I hope that one of these books on this list can hopefully make its way <laughs> to your little earbuds during your next workout and hopefully make your next workout session more enjoyable. If you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, but without further ado, let's get into the video. So we're gonna start off with fantasy first because I feel like that's personally my favorite genre right now. So I have quite a few here that I wanted to mention. Now, some of these, I have listened to them on Audible, but I've also read the physical copy. So I'm just giving you my personal opinion based off of the type of book and what I feel like would be most exciting and almost encouraging to listen to at the gym or during your hot girl walk. This first one is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. This is book one of like an ongoing series. There are, there are five books out right now. And I recommend this book because it has a lot of high stakes. We have a fantasy world with a, a human protagonist. She gets shipped off to this fey world. So we're introduced to a lot of interesting characters. We have a really cool magic system here. This is considered a Beauty and the Beast retelling. So if you like that as well, this could be the book for you. I find that this book, when I was listening to it, the narrator did a really good job of bringing to life our main characters. And there is also the graphic audio version. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. But this was a really fun read on Audible and I think you guys will like it. So if you're interested in fantasy books, check this one out. The next fantasy book I wanted to recommend is The Bridge Kingdom by Daniel L. Jensen. This is less of a magic system, more of just like uh, a kingdom, not in this world with an assassin protagonist who has a marriage of convenience to try and form an alliance with another kingdom. They do not get along, it's enemies to lovers. We have a lot of really cool dynamics in here, a lot of politics, fighting, war, betrayal. It's really, really fast paced, adventurous, and I think this will get your heart pumping. So if you are, you know, doing a workout and you want something to really just get you excited, this one will definitely bring up that heart rate in my opinion, because the whole time I was reading this, if you want that experience, get this one. This next book I'm gonna recommend because I feel like it's nostalgic and people may be interested in rereading it. There is talks about a new television show being made for the series and that is Aragon by Christopher Paolini. This is in like a magic, really, really cool magic system. We have obviously dragons, we have a quest, we have this boy, this farmer boy who finds out he is a dragon rider and it is one of my favorite fantasy, like epic fantasies of all time. Highly recommend reading it. If you've read this when you were a kid and you thought about rereading it, you wanted to get back into the world of this story, check it out on Audible, listen to it during your workout. I feel like this series is super exciting and also a page turner making you want to go through all of the series as quickly as possible. You may not have time to read an epic fantasy because these are very large books. So maybe you could listen to them during your workouts, during your walks, during your hikes, 
and get you in the mood for fantasy books. It will just take, make the time go by so much faster. I promise this one is definitely worth checking out. We're gonna head into young adult books now. I only have one recommendation because I feel like this is the only book series off the top of my head that was super fast paced, just really easy to listen to. I guess I should say that it's so simple. You won't really miss out on too much if you are too focused during your workout or doing something and doing two things at once, you won't really get confused over the plot. And that is The Inheritance Games by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This is a really cool knives out whodunit type of book. We have puzzles, we have games, we have mysterious mansion, we have an inheritance, obviously from the title. And like I said, this is young adult, so we don't have a lot of mature writing. It's very fast paced, very short chapters. This is a three part series, but I feel like you can get through it pretty quickly. And I think if you are interested in listening to something while you're working out that isn't music, this could be a great starter one to check out. My largest category is obviously gonna be mystery and thrillers because I feel like when I'm working out, when I'm going on a walk, if I wanna listen to something, I want- My heart to be pumping. I wanna be like I'm listening to a movie in the background and nothing gets me all riled up quite like a mystery book. So the first books I'm gonna recommend are anything by Agatha Christie. She is a phenomenal mystery writer. She's a great detective writer. She has tons of books to choose from. And if you've never read any of her books before, listening to them is a great option. Murder on the Orient Express, and then there were nine. Death on the Nile, those are just one of many that I would recommend to you from her specifically. But another one that I wanted to recommend is The Family Upstairs by Lisa Jewell. She also is a really great thriller author. This one is really fun and the plot twist at the end, I did not see coming. It had me on my toes the entire time. It was creepy. We had like cult type of vibes from this creepy family in this house. We have a lot of back and forth in POVs. And I think you'll be so engrossed listening to this book. You won't even be paying attention much to whatever it is you're working out on. And it'll make the time at the gym seem so much faster and it will just make it a lot more fun for you in my opinion. So check her out if you haven't checked out any of her books. This one's a really, really good one to listen to. The Last Time I Lied by Riley Sager is another great option. One, because this takes place in like a summer camp and it's just giving the vibes of like spring and summer and you know, going to summer camp when you were growing up. Two, it's super creepy. We have a group of girls one of them vanishes from like years ago and then a lot of time passes and they're all together again in this uh, summer camp place where stuff went down. We learn a lot from the perspective of our narrator and it is so good. The, like, the ending was just mind boggling. I want everyone to read this book and if you are a fan of the game Two Truths and a Lie, I think you will really enjoy this during your next workout, just listen to it. I promise you, your jaw will be on the floor by the time you're done with this book. And the last mystery that I wanted to mention here is The Maid by Anita Prose. I listened to this uh, a little, I think late in 2022, and I was obsessed with the narrator. She did a phenomenal job depicting a woman that is somewhere on the spectrum. We have a maid in a like a really luxury type of hotel something happens to one of the hotel guests and we are figuring out the mystery through the perspective of the maid. I would just say that if you have not checked this one out, if you have already read it, if you've not read it, go ahead and listen to it because the narrator did a fantastic job. And I think it's gonna be a really, really great book. It's short, it's fast. You can speed it up if you want to, to get through it quicker but it makes you think a lot, it's very thought provoking and the ending I think will have you a little puzzled as well. So if you're looking for a short book to listen to, this could be a good option. And then I also wanted to throw in a few classics because a lot of people aren't re interested in reading classic books. They find them outdated, they find them boring and hard to read because of the writing style from back in the day. And I totally get it, but I find that they're very important they give a lot of insight to what it was like living back then, the motifs, the themes, the settings, like they're really, really cool and unique and we don't get literature like that anymore. So I find it really important still to read them. And I have a few recommendations. If you are wanting to listen to an audiobook, 
I will say most classics are free on Audible, so just a little heads up there. But if you have not read any Jane Austen book, go ahead, pick up Pride and Prejudice, go ahead and give it a listen. It's free. I believe Rosamund Pike is the narrator for the version on Audible. Go ahead and check that out. I'm pretty sure it's free as well. And it's great if you watch the movie, you've never read the book, but you want to, and it's just really hard to get into because Jane Austen's writing is kind of difficult to get through. It's, this is a great option. It's fun, it's romantic, and it's just a good time. It's it's lighthearted, it's easy, it's an easy read. Dracula is another one I think is really cool. Again, we have different perspective because we are being told a lot of what's happening in this book through journal entries. And I find it really interesting and cool getting that perspective. This is a creepy book. It, I think it's considered horror, but it's cool. Everyone knows the story of Dracula, but if you've never read the book and you wanted to and you couldn't get into it or you just don't have the time to read a classic, listen to it. I promise you'll love it. It's worth it. I just trust me. And then the last classic recommendation I have is The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. This is a large book. Like, she's thick with two c's it's very hard to get through i think if you were to just read the physical book copy but if you don't have time for that if you're like i just want something i can listen to during my eight week summer shred <laughs> go ahead and listen to this it is a great adventurous story about a guy seeking revenge and how he goes about getting it how he's plotting it is fun i love the character in this book he's awesome and if you're interested in a really good revenge story, go ahead and listen to it. I think you'll love it. This is an oldie but a goodie. And like I said, it's a very large book. So if you don't plan on ever picking it up and reading it for yourself, go ahead and listen to it. But I think that's it guys. That is gonna be all of my audiobook recommendations for you to listen to during your next workout. I hope you found this helpful and I hope this encourages you to be more active this spring and summer, to go ahead, take that walk, go for a hike, to lift some weights, to get through a workout, feel energized, feel motivated, and yeah, just have fun doing it. But yeah, if you have any more audiobook recommendations, Go ahead and leave them in the comments. Love that I was able to do this. And I think I'm gonna keep doing things like this as I continue reading more books and listening to them. If I have more recommendations, I'll be sure to make another video of this, but that's gonna be it today, guys. Thank you again so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you in my next video. Bye.